Okay, one of, this is one of the uh, the old carrier ribbon burners used in carrier uh, natural draft furnaces and uh, uh, BDP, Bryant Day Night Pain, which is the same company. Uh, gas came in here, traveled through the Venturi here, uh, flame spreader here, and these slots are where all the fuel came out of. This is an adjustment for uh, primary air, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. Uh, when these things are pulled out, toothbrush along here, make sure none of this stuff is rusted out. Uh, toothbrush in here to uh, clean that flame spreader. And that's about it. If they're rusted out, of course, they're toast. Uh, they did seem to last pretty good. I didn't see a lot of rust out with them. Okay, this is what this thing looks like uh, from the uh, orifice end. That little piece of sheet metal inside there can be turned so it's parallel with flow or it can be turned sideways with flow. Now this is what this thing looks like right here. We move back and forth. That's your primary air adjustment. Essentially what this does when it's like that it slows down the flow of the gas coming in just because it's kind of blocking part of the flow so it doesn't draw as much primary air. That's how that silly thing works. And of course these things should be closed like this. See if you can get some yellow tips and then adjust back until the tips just disappear. But that's primary air and that's how that burner is set up. Okay, these carrier ribbon burners are among the easiest to remove and put back in. They're also one of the hardest. If you get them jammed, they're harder than heck to get out. If you need to get the burner out, which you would for a service or looking for a heat exchanger problem, you lift up like that and pull it out. That's all there is to it. What happens sometimes is you get it pushed in like that and jam up there. And when you're putting them back in, same thing, just put them in like that. It's actually pretty easy to do once you learn how to do them.